And yeah, this is the other uh, 36 volt bike wheel that I've got that's just sitting there and has done for quite a while ever since I got it off somebody locally for bugger all and they found out I was making an electric bike so <clears throat> I'm going to take this one apart uh, first I'll spin it around a bit to show you the charge coming out come on That's very slow, I mean the wind turbine is going to be kicking it round so much faster than that. And if I can get that motor and this one on the turbine together, so yeah, get the two together and jolly good, we'll have us some electricity, won't we? Right, anyway, bye bye bike wheel, hello wind turbine. Where is it? There it Now I've got to get rid of the spokes, folks. It's all part of the deal.
so you can see just simple hand cranks getting us 12 volts and that's not bad because if, if I invest some in some batteries then we're going to have some usable juice so that's what we want so yeah just to recap we're going to put these two motors hopefully in one wind turbine they're going to be geared up so yeah when they both if, obviously they'll have to rotate in the right direction you'll get power coming out of these cables where power would normally if it's used in the application it's meant for it's an electric bike the power would normally be going in and the motor would be going around but now we're going to use the old motor law to our advantage we're going to turn the motor we're even going to use the gears that i got so i'm hoping to make something really cool so i'll show you in the next part all right peace